Hello YouTube, Nick Free Pack with another video. Today I am reviewing some cars I got from Walmart today. I believe I was the first to find Wave 11. I don't know. They had five out of six cars of the Wave. Well, six out of seven. Five out of six I was looking for. Or five out of six I didn't have, but they did not have Kyle Bush and they had Martin Truex. So, you know what the rest were. Tony Stewart's Sonoma. David Reagan's Shriners. By the way, um, I hope you guys can see that, but there's like glitter on the hood. Same on the car, I believe. Yeah, you can see it a little bit, but I don't know. The 24 ever car, you can say it's... A, Jeff Gordon or Chase Elliott, I, I don't care. Ugh. Kyle Larson's Michigan race version. And Chase Elliott's Daytona race version. So the first car we're going to start off with is the 24 Ever. Um, really cool car. I mean, it's a not bad selection. You got the entire wave on the back. They had him and the other five. But they did not have Kyle Busch. So, let's go ahead and get this open. Alright, so first up is the little card that comes with this. Really cool. I mean, yeah, it's about as cool as the um, box. Um, on the back, you got the stats of Jeff Gordon and Chase Elliott. Uh, I don't know when that went through, but okay. Yeah, 30 starts, apparently. So, here's the car. Yes, this is a fantasy car, but... Still, this is just, oh my gosh, this is awesome. I don't like Jeff Gordon, but, hey, it is what it is. So, um, on the front, you got Hendrick, Motorsports 24, Chevrolet SS, usual contingencies. You get the rainbow card started off. This is something I am annoyed with. Why does it say Hendrick Motorsports instead of Exalta? Really? Um... Then you got Jeff Gordon's last ride car. You got all the usual contingencies. And then the rest of this car is Chase Elliott's main Napa car from last year. You got Hendrick, Exalta, Bosch, Freightliner, Mac Tools, and Siemens. So then we continue on with the car. You got KBB, Valvoline, uh, Napa Auto Parts, Mountain Dew, Sun Energy, the American Elf Not Logo. <laughs> Napa Know How, 24, Valvoline, SS, Chevy, Napa Auto Parts, Napa Know How, and the side same as the left. So, really neat car, I mean, I don't like fantasy schemes that much, but I'm a big Chase Elliott fan, I really like when this car came out, so. Um, yeah, let's get to the next car, um. We're going to get to a car, I saw this race happen on TV and I was not too happy, but I, I don't, fair warning for you all, I don't like Kyle Larson, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and get this open. Alright, Kyle Larson car is out of its box, whoops, here's the little card, it's, it's like the race version card you get with the 124s, pure Michigan 400 winner on August 28th of last year. Um, time of race to almost two and a half hours. Started 12th. Led, led 41 laps. There were four cautions for 17 laps. Almost 1.5 seconds over Chase Elliott. And his first ever Sprint Cup Series win. Good for him. I don't care. Um, now I do like that they have the whole... Michigan confetti and whatnot on it, but I'm still just not digging this whole pink thing. This car has been accurate ever since last year, so on the front you got 42 Chevrolet SS Chip Ganassi. You guys have already seen me review this car, right? Probably. So we'll just go over everything. You got the I don't know how you say it, the long confetti or something. Uh, you get the small confetti all over the car. You got the damage. 
to get the small confetti there. And then you get more long confetti over the sides. And then you got some of that race stuff and the dirt and whatnot. I mean, it's cool, but I just don't like the whole thing where they still messed up this car. I, I just don't like that. It was messed up when it came out, and it's still messed up. Although there might be some different things. Yeah, I don't think there's too much. So, last two out of the last three are exclusives. I'm saving the best one for last. So, next up is the second of three race versions. Chase Zoe's Daytona win. So, let's go ahead and get this car. Alright, the car is open. Here's a little card that comes with it. Power Shares Triple Q 300 winner. Um, almost two hours. Started 19th, led 43 laps. 120 laps, 300 miles. This was his fifth Xfinity Career Series win. I own two... I own his first two in 164, and now I own this. So, um, nothing too much on this car, but we'll go ahead and review it. On the front, you got 88 Camaro, Chevy, TaxSlayer.com. You got Xfinity on the windshield. Down the side, you got the Xfinity logos and whatnot, the 88 TaxSlayer.com, One Main Armor, Hump Brothers Pizza, and Goodies. Um, you got the little red Xfinity winter sticker. Something, armor, um, and a few other things. Safety clean, and a few other things. Exalta, Valvoline, Siren Energy 1, and I don't know what that is. You got some dirt built up, though, right there. Um, yeah, there you can see it. Um... Fire alarm services on the deckwood, techslayer.com, Chevy Camaro and stuff. Um, I think that's just a few sponsors right there. Um, you got Elliot on the back. And then, oh, American that's not logo. And then you got this, where Joey Wagano decided, Oh, I want to give you a run for your money's worth. Uh, still stupid a cup driver one, but... I mean, I like... I like this. I mean, you can't really do damage with the 164s, I get it, but... I mean, it's a cool car, don't get me wrong. I would have just rather seen Eric Jones' car. Um... So next up is the second exclusive, and you know what's last, so... Let's go ahead and get this car open. Alright, so here's the David Reagan car open. Hopefully you can see that, the little glitter on the car. This is David Reagan Shriner's car. He ran at Daytona. Although, one thing, I do see something that is not correct is the tires, I believe. I'm not too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Eh. This was made in 124, and it's made in 164, thank God. Um, you got 23, you got Camry, no BK Racing thing. Um, and you can see all the glare on the hood, especially. Um, Shriners Hospitals for Children, up to the rescue, Reagan and the, um, Americana banner. Um, Good Luck David, up to the rescue, PBG, PBG, Safety Clean, Zach, SEM, Toyota, Dr. Pepper, and I think that says BK Racing. There's a bunch of other things with Zach and SEM as well. Um, hold on, let me, I'm not too sure what that says, but, apologies. Um, Heal and Power of Love. Um, Created by Haley, the girl from Minnesota. Hashtag love to the rescue. Toyota Hearts, Camry, bunch of other stuff. And this side is the same as the left. 
Really cool car. I mean, I support the Shriners, and I'm glad that this car finally got made. I really want to see that five car, though. So, you know what this last car is. Tony Stewart's Sonoma. Alright, Tony Stewart's car is open. So here's the card. You got Tony Stewart, Sonoma Raceway, Toyota Save Mart winner. Um, June 26th, six days after my birthday. Um, almost uh, 2 hours, 42 minutes, 13 seconds. He started 10th, led 22 laps. Um, 4 cautions. Margin of victory was just over half a second. This is his 49th and last win. I remember watching this race and I was so glad Tony won. Because he didn't get really shot at winning anything. So. This is the standard Code 3 cards, just got some other stuff on it. Code 3 Associates, Rider in the Storm. Yeah, tons of dirt, I believe. Tape. Then you get the side where he's like, move out of the way, Denny. Lenny won still. Don't get butt hurt at me, Denny fans. You know you wanted to see Tony win that race. You got Code 3, Jimmy John's, Coke, Mass Pro. Oh, it's like a little donut. Nice. Mobile One, Haas, Mac Tools, CNC, Mac Tools. Mobile One, Rust Truck, just a beat up car all together. Code 3, Mobile One, Code 3 Associates, the Chevy SS. This side's the same as the left, although you got this up here and this back there. It sucks this was Tony's last win, but it is what it is. Although. This is something I don't like. How is it that Tony Stewart and Jeff Gordon's last wins get produced? I don't have Jeff Gordon's last win. But I don't really care to. But yet, Carl Edwards does not. That's a little bit rude. Um, and yeah. Wave 11 was really good. I mean, I'm really glad with the two exclusives. The Chase Elliott and the David Reagan. David Reagan's probably the, my favorite car in this wave, but a close second is um, Tony Stewart's. Probably third is the 24 ever. Fourth is, um, and kind of worse than the fifth is Chase Elliott. I like the Xfinity cars and waves, but I would have rather seen Eric Jones's, but, eh. Overall, five really good cars. Um, Wave 1 was revealed recently, and it does have two exclusives in it, and the rest are 2017s. I'll get the two exclusives. I'm still deciding if I want to collect 2017s or not, because all of them are inaccurate due to Monster being a you-know-what. So, could this be the last few cars I review before I go to old cars? That remains to be seen. Find out and stay tuned. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe for more.